and welcome back to the Curiosity Corner at the Toledo Museum of Art. My name is Ms. Adele and I am a docent at TMA. I help visitors stay curious about our art collection. Today we are going to explore Wigs by artist Lorna Simpson. The Toledo Museum displays all kinds of art, such as colorful paintings, sculptures, and beautiful chandeliers. The museum also collects art that may be like nothing you've ever seen before. The work of art we are looking at today is titled Wigs. Take a minute to look at this art and identify what you see. So, what did you notice? Did the title Wigs help you out? We are looking at 21 pictures of different wigs showing various hairstyles. The pictures are printed on tan colored rectangles of cloth called felt that are pinned to the wall. Felt cloth and wigs are similar because both feel soft and both are made of natural and artificial fibers. You probably noticed that the wigs have different textures of hair in different styles. There's hair that is curly, braided, wavy, in a hairnet, and coiled in a tight bun. There's even a mustache. Besides the wigs, did you notice any words in this artwork? Can you read them out loud with me? Choosing which wig to wear always took a moment or two to decide. First impressions are the most lasting. What could these sayings and all the wig pictures mean? As an African-American woman artist, Lorna Simpson wanted to communicate her thoughts about how different kinds of hair can have different meanings for black women and men. She also wants people to make up their own minds about what her art means to them. So let's think about hair. Maybe your own hair comes to mind or a friend's. What can hair tell us about a person? Sometimes hair can tell us about a person's identity, personality, or culture. Some people have long hair. Some people have short hair. Some have hair that is covered. Some have hair of all different colors. And some people don't have any hair at all. Whatever your hair looks like, it is an awesome part of your identity. It helps to make you, you. Now, grab a paper and pencil or crayons. Draw an oval shape for your face and add your eyes, nose, and mouth. Then, draw or color a hairstyle that makes you feel beautiful, strong, or happy. It can be whatever your hairstyle is now, or maybe a new hairstyle that is completely different. Would you like to try the new hairstyle that you drew? Why? Ask a friend and see what they think too. Thanks for being curious with me this week. You're shaping up to be a real art explorer. We hope you continue to stay curious about art online and in person at the Toledo Museum of Art. Come on into your museum. Who knows what you'll discover?